What's been kind of your takeaway from the early practices with Chip Kelly? How is it different? How have you liked it? Um, I think our offense is a little uh, more fast tempo. I mean, the concepts are obviously different from last year. It's a lot of uh, read option, uh, addition dunk kind of stuff. I mean, but uh, we're all embracing it and we like it. I'm ready for this year. As uh, typically with his receivers, he's emphasized blocking downfield as much as catching passes. Is that become something that he's kind of honed in with you guys and, and emphasized? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, different things he's doing with the running backs and with other receivers and screens like that that include us blocking downfield. And it's going to be a very important part of our offense, so definitely embracing that. Do you, do you like this passing offense? Yeah, it's nice. I like it. <laughs> Is it complicated? Is it a thick playbook? Um, I wouldn't say it's complicated. I mean, we're, we're getting a lot of stuff put in our plate right now, but uh, we have a lot of practices and we'll, we'll get it down. The fact that you guys have had to learn several different offenses now every year, does that help kind of digesting a new one? Yeah, I mean, it just teaches us just to uh, have some uh, uh, diverse, diverse uh, diversity. Um, it's it's a challenge, but I mean, we're embracing it and taking it on. We're we're getting a lot of help from different coaches, and we're all helping each other. That's the most important thing, and it'll be fine. Jerry Neuheisel's been. Uh working with you guys a lot once I see a smile come to your face what, what's it been like having him back? it's great I mean uh, when I first came in I always wanted to play with him just because uh, I knew about him and everybody just had good things to say about him but uh, he's great just especially since he played QB and he knows a lot of stuff and uh, he also has a lot of information and uh, advice that he can give to the receivers so it's really great having him can he still throw a good ball oh yeah for sure <laughs> How's Coach Doherty been in terms of continuity through so much transition for you since you've been here? Good. I mean, uh, our relationship is growing stronger. I mean, last year it was uh, great to meet him and uh, just go through a full season with him. But uh, the relationship is good. One of your teammates said that um, earlier in the spring, I guess, because you guys were in the GPS stuff and then the workload monitor went off and then they, they had to scale you back a little bit. How's that, how's that been wearing that and, 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 did, and having that? Yeah, that was interesting. I mean, I've never really had that before, but it's just something I'm trying to keep track of the keep track of the players and make sure they don't do too much just because it's a long spring. We're trying to save our legs and our body. How does that work? Does somebody come over to you and say, hey, you know, we, we got to cut you off for the rest of today, or how did that kind of happen? Yeah, I mean, uh, they'll they'll get like a, uh, they'll get notified and then they'll just come up to us and be like, uh, we'll be like hey, like, how do you feel? Like, are your legs all right? Uh, We'll probably just cut it down for this drill or for the rest of practice. Did you put up any resistance when they told you, or how did you? What did yeah, you say? I mean, but it's, it's what they say goes. So I just yeah. listen to them. Did you feel? Did you feel something like you were tired at that point, or did you feel like you were normal? Um, I felt normal. I mean, I was just trying to go full speed, but I guess it was a lot, and so they just told me to calm it down. How different has the whole program been with the sports science aspect and things like that? I know you guys are eating differently and sleeping and hydration are closely monitored. Good. Uh, I mean, our strength coaches are doing a lot of stuff with us and really helping us out a lot uh, in terms of hydration and really putting food food in us daily and then just the different stuff we're doing in the weight room with Coach uh, Wintridge, so it's really great. Have you, has your body changed at all since last season? As far yeah, as I, uh, I think I'm gaining some more muscle and toning it down, so, uh, and getting faster and stuff, stuff like that. So, How much do you weigh right now? I'm 180. You feel like you've gotten more confident with also your receipt, your route running and your and your hands yeah. catching balls. Yeah. Is there some feeling for you that you, with some guys who left like Darren Andrews, that there's some responsibility for you to step up and kind of lead the receivers this I mean, year? Yeah, I mean everybody. It's not like a like I'm the only leader thing. Everybody's a leader on the team. I mean, different guys. We've had a couple guys in my grade that have been here for a while now and been able to watch and see the older guys. So everybody's really leading and just helping each other. So. How do you feel like Diamond's kind of progressed at the receiver position? Obviously, he started at quarterback, but he's he's back at receiver after he played it a lot in high school, too. He's progressed a lot. I mean, I've known Diamond since about eighth grade and just watched him go from quarterback to receiver. And I've always thought he was a great receiver, and he just needed his chance to sign. And it's, it's definitely showing out on the field, and it's really good to see. Were you kind of hoping that he would end up at receiver, even though he signed at quarterback? Yeah, I know he likes quarterback, but uh, I think receivers is probably his calling. Kind of moving off the field. I know Fortnite's a big deal within the locker room. <laughs> I, I just talked to Devin and Lo Kenny. Kind of said you talk a big game, but your skills aren't really quite up there. I mean, what's all that about? No, I talk a big game, but I'm I'm not the best Fortnite player. They're for sure. They're for sure probably the top dogs in Fortnite on the team. Cool.